Hey guys, good morning. How you guys doing today? Today we're back with another self-defense ninja weapon review. And today, as you can see, we're going to be reviewing some shurikens, which are also known in the West as ninja stars or throwing stars. And actually, um, shurikens are usually constructed from a thin flat plate, uh, thin flat plates of metal derived from a variety of sources like coins, spools, nail removers, and generally resemble popular conceptions of shurikens. Uh, they're generally like made to look as in the shape of the more modern shurikens and whatnot. They often have a hole in the center and possess a fairly thin blade, sharpened only at the tip. The holes derived from their source and items that had holes. Old coins, washers, and nail removing tools. And this proved convenient for the user because since it had a hole in the middle, they can be strung by string or a dowel on the belt for transportation. It made them easier for the user to carry around. Plus the hole was also, it had aerodynamics and weighting effects that aided the flight of the blade after it was thrown. But uh, actually shurikens were not primarily intended as a killing weapon, but rather as a secondary weapon that sometimes played a role supportive to a main weapon, usually the sword or a spear. Shurikens were primarily used to cause either nuisance or distraction. Targets were primarily the eyes, face, hands, or feet the areas most exposed under armor. The shuriken would sometimes be thrown in a way that cuts the opponent and becomes lost, later causing the opponent to believe that they were cut with an invisible, or by an invisible swordsman. And um, they were also used in the other novel ways. They might be embedded in the ground, injuring those who stepped on them, similar to like the cow traps, or wrapped in a fuse to be lit and thrown to cause fire, or wrapped in a cloth soaked in poison and lit to cover an area with a cloud of poisonous smoke. They can also be used as a handheld striking weapon in close, close quarter combat as well. And there's also reports of shuriken being coated with poison intended either for throwing targets, throwing at targets, or whoever may pick them up when left in a conspic uh, conspicuous place. And then the person or victim would have to be treated with uh, at the poison, they would have a bacteria that was the result of the poison and then it would cause a really bad infection. They'd have to be treated in order for that to be fixed. I put these in a little cigar box here to display them. It makes them easier to show. Here's what, they, here's what one looks like up close. These actually don't have a hole in them. The back's like a mirror. It's a silver silver version got a black version and of course the golds the facts that I was reading you guys were taken from Wikipedia I just wanted to get a little bit more helpful info because I didn't really know like the previous real history of the uses for these so I wanted to make sure that I was right and gave you guys cold hard facts. So I hope you guys liked my review. I just gotta put these guys back away, right? It's kind of a pain in the butt. Let's see. There we go. So yeah, guys, these are the Shurukins. Hope you guys have a great day. And we'll be back with more real soon. Peace.